Okay, so I'm just going to start with this uh, St. Peter's project from scratch, and I'm going to start with a new file. So you can see here, I already have a new file that started with the program, but just to show you in case you need to do it, I'm going to go to the main menu and choose new, and then you can see there the template you should always use, which is ACAD ISO. Uh, so I'll double click on that, start my new file, and then I'm going to draw a line from the origin. So I'll type 0 comma 0, enter, and then I'm going to turn ortho on on the uh, status bar, or toggles down the bottom, so that it keeps my uh, cursor with a straight line there. And then I'm going to type in a reasonable distance, uh, 20 metres, 20,000, and then enter, and enter again to finish the line command. And I'm going to double click with the wheel on the mouse to do a zoom extent so I can see that whole line. So that gives me a reasonable zoom to start drawing everything else. And I'm going to draw another line now, again from the origin, so 0, comma 0, enter. And then I'm just going to take that to the right uh, and by eye just click a point to give me a line that's at a right angle to the, uh, to the first one. And so now I should be able to get really all of the other lines using uh, offset and trim. Uh, maybe draw a couple of extra lines. But uh, first I'll use uh, offset. So uh, typing in the uh, offset distance, which is the first wall thickness, 270. Enter. Just going to select that line. Go to the right. Enter again. Finish. And then uh, offset again. And this time, uh, it's probably 110 for all the other walls. So uh, again, I'm just typing in that distance there and enter, and then choosing the line, clicking above. And so from now on, I'm just going to hit enter to repeat the command each time. And uh, so you can see it's gone back to uh, prompting me for a new distance and uh, the room size there. I'll type in 2800. Is that 3.2.8? Uh, yep. So, yep, so I've just typed that distance in and then selecting the line there for the inside of the wall, and then I'll click above, enter, enter again, and uh, again my next distance, which is just 110 for my wall thickness, and then again map and show I click above that to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Uh, so again, just continuing with enter to repeat the offset, 3300 is my next room size, and, and then again 110 for my next wall, and then again, um, the bath there. What did we say was the bath size? Oh, yeah, 1800. So I'll make that, yeah, well, even if it's 1795 for the bath, we'll round that up to 1800 for the room. And, uh, and then again, 110 for the wall. And 3600 for the next room. And 270 for that last wall. Okay, so I've got a lot of lines there, and so at this point it's a good idea to tidy that up. Uh, and so using fillet there, I'm going to check first that the radius is set to zero. So I'm going to hit F2 on the keyboard, which will bring up the uh, text window, and you can see there I can check every uh, previous line. Uh, F2 again to turn that off. And so now I'm just going to go and click on the lines I want to join together. And again, in between each command, I can hit enter to repeat the last command. So just pressing enter. And uh, you can see here, this wall uh, should be 270. I'll come back to that. But uh, coming along the bottom now, I can, yes, fill it uh, just on the corner there. That's right, so I'm going to use trim for the other lines there. And uh, so with the trim tool, I'm going to select cutting edges here. So these are lines I want to cut the other lines. So all of these internal lines there, you can see, will be cutting or need to cut something else. So it's really just used for joining lines? Joining two things together, two lines generally. 
So you can see there my cutting edges. And uh, so I'll choose this one as well. Enter, and now I can choose the things I want to trim. So whenever I click on a line now, it's going to cut back to the nearest edge. Actually, this one doesn't need to be cut yet. Uh, and then all of these. I'm going to leave those ones sticking out. And you can see I can do those as a group just by doing a crossing window. So clicking a point that goes from right to left. Gives you a green window. You can just get all those things together. Ah, but it's done too much there. It's trimmed back all the way to this line. So if you do something that you want to bring back, you can always type U or click on the undo button down the bottom. U, enter. And you can see it's just undone that last step. So I can always click individually on those lines and that should work. Uh, it does get a bit confused sometimes when you've got multiple edges. Okay, so here I'm going to do the outside of the lines first. So then I can come back and do the remainder of those lines. Otherwise I would have been left with lines to the right. So there we go, that worked, you can see. And uh, so again, just clicking on all the parts I want to take away. And so now, uh, again, if I use offset with the uh, overall dining room size there, which should be uh, 5600. And then the new offset, which is uh, 270 for the outside wall. So this time, really important that I go from the inside line there to the right. And now with the fillet, I should be able to tidy most of that up. And finally, uh, I'll just get the other main walls in. So continuing with offset. So O, and then enter. It's the shortcut for offset, and uh, three meters is the size of the living room across, and then another one ten for the kitchen, eighteen hundred across, and then uh, another one ten wall at the end. So that's a party wall between units, and so again fill it. So you can see it often works for things that you're joining at the corner around the outside. We'll leave this part. And uh, so then finally that line there, I need to use trim. So here, instead of selecting a cutting edge, I'm going to press enter, which is the shortcut to make everything a cutting edge. So that means I can click on this line here, it'll cut back to the nearest thing that's touching, which happens to be what I want. And then finally, just getting those last couple of balls in, 4,000. Ah, oops, okay, so I'll put one to fill it. Oops, I want to do offset. 4,000. 110. Now, I don't think you've been given a distance for the, uh, the linen covered there. So let's just measure it. At the moment, Measuring from from this corner here across, it's uh, two meters. We want it to be about two thirds of that. So let's say 12, 12 maybe fifteen hundred. Actually, would be a good size for the for the linen closet from this corner here. So again, I'll just use offset. You could make up your own distance. I don't think it's that important. And again, one ten. So now I can again just come back with fillet and join all those lines together. Okay, so then with trim, using uh, just this line and then the two vertical lines, I shouldn't take long to cut that back and I'll do the uh, opening for the kitchen afterwards. So, now I can think about maybe doing some layers, and that's really the new thing I wanted to show you. So, with the um, layer properties there, I'm just gonna go to New Layer, and I'm gonna call this P, 
for... Oh, no, sorry, it's not P, it's, it's existing, isn't it? So I'm going to call this uh, X wall. It's nice and simple. Uh, and then we'll change the colour to red for, ne uh, for masonry for now. We might use blue in the end if it's going to be existing. But uh, anyhow, for now we use the colour of the material. And we might as well set a line weight as well while we're at it. So I'm just going to click on the line weight there. And, well, since you've used 0.4, we'll use that for now. Again, we might take that back to 0.35 later. It's 0.4 for now. Easy to change. Okay, so I've got a new layer. And I'm going to click the tick. So that makes it the current layer. You can see at the top there. Close this now. And then I'll click on the line button to draw a new line. And you can see then that it will go on the new layer. But I want to change these existing lines to that layer. So to do that, you just need to make sure nothing's selected. Press Escape twice if you're not sure. And then you can make a window or select anything you want. And you should see those blue handles come up. And then you can just choose the drop down um, in the layer panel and choose the layer you want that to go on. If this helps, press Escape. And then I might just make one more layer for the. Um, for the built-ins, so just going to the layer properties there, and so X uh, built-in. You don't have to use uppercase, I'm just doing that so it's easier to read. And uh, actually I may as well just make uh, a few of the other layers so you've got an idea how to name your layers. So uh, again just putting in the main layers that you probably need at first, so X uh, door. and X window X we'll just have tile for now yeah. for all the tiles and then you might break that up afterwards as well and then for the uh, kitchen and bathroom maybe as well So you've got quite a few layers there, and uh, so you need to set different colours to those. At first, the colours are up to you, and uh, so just clicking on those colour swatches. Again, try to use the in main index colours down the bottom at first. So even by built-ins, I might use say yellow, and then the doors uh, maybe cyan. You'll see later there are fairly standard colours, but for now. Uh, these are fine. Okay, so just different, pretty arbitrary, but again, trying to use the standard colours to begin with. Uh, and then again, just make sure that when you draw something new, so I'll just draw some rough lines that might be for this built in down here. Yeah. Yes, yes, so that's, that's just what I'm doing now. So I've just drawn those lines. They've gone onto this wall layer because that's my current layer. But now, if I just choose them, I can choose the built-in layer. I'll go straight onto that layer. Pressing Escape, that'll deselect. And so if there's nothing selected, when you choose a layer from the panel here, that makes it the current layer. So now I'm drawing on door, and if I draw a new line, I'll be that colour. Okay, so I might put some lights at the door. But uh, again, I'll do that a bit more lately later. So, uh, and yeah, just so you've got an idea how to start grouping your objects. Once you've drawn the walls, then think about doing your openings. Uh, and so, yeah. Sorry, I'll ask you question. No problem at all, yep. So that's the whole point of it. And so now I can easily go in and set any of those to a different layer weight and everything on that layer is going to change. And uh, yeah, so that's yep, exactly why we're doing it. And so, uh, well, maybe just if you are ready to do your opening, so I'll just get you started there.
we know the opening return is 100 from the break. So I'll draw a line here across inside that wall. You'll see more in a second. If I use offset now, I can type in 100 for distance, come down, offset again. Uh, doors are 820, aren't they? A20, and then your entry door is 920, is that right? Uh, door jam, four B, door opening, 900. Yeah, that's right. And it, but the entry door, isn't it bigger? I think uh, 920. it's 920. It's a 920 door? Yeah. Right, so that means it's a one metre opening. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to offset 1,000. But remember, for the other doors, it would be 900. Okay. Uh, and so now if I offset again 40 mil inside. Is that class as an external door? The, the laundry it's door. Only the this is the entry. That's the entry. Yes, that is an external door. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's that's the external door that they're talking about. Yep. When they say external door. That's the entry to the unit. So, yeah. Okay, so now, using trim, I'm going to choose the two lines uh, outside of the opening, not the outside of the door. Okay, so these are the outer lines. I can trim back my wall. I can draw just some extra lines there on the side for the sides of the door jam. Okay, so this is our 40mm door jam. Oh, you need a different line weight. Exactly, yeah. yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah, often, yeah, so at first you might have the line continuing and then you break it up to have more detail. So now I'll just delete this line that I started with. So that was just a construction line to get me started. I don't need it anymore. And I'm drawing my door with the door jam. Uh, and now, finally, I'll just draw a line from the corner where the hinge should be. We know the, the door is 920. Okay, so 920 is my distance. And then I'll draw an arc using start center end. Okay, so it's going to be start on the end of the door, center where the hinge would be, so the door rotates around, and then the end is where the latch or the lock would be. Okay, so that's all you need for the doors. Later on you'll make a layer for the door swing, probably, but for now just keep it all on the one door layer. And that's plenty for now to get you started. So in the next video I'll do some things on projecting as well. So to do elevations, let me know if you're ready to do that already and I can get you started on that. But for now, like I said, that's plenty.